In my first job, I worked at a movie theater. Movie theater job's a dumb job. Anybody ever work at a movie theater? It's dumb. You get your little vest, your little bow tie clip on because it's classy. And then they give you chores. They make up, they prank you. If you're new at a job like that, if you ever work fast food, you know they make up chores for the new people that aren't real to see if you'll fall for it. If they haze you, it's wrong. And I didn't grow up pranking people. People think if you're a comedian, you're a big prankster. That's not my deal. Because you get in a prank war with some other dude, you need to know how far that person's willing to go. You ever do that? You're in a prank war with somebody, they jump a level, go psycho on you. <laughs> You're like, I put shaving cream on your door handle. Like, I put cheese whiz on your mirror. You're like, I TP'd your lawn. They're like, I poisoned your ferret. What? <laughs> I don't have a ferret. <laughs> so I'm not a prankster, man. This first job, though, and they, 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 I was you know, 17 years old, straight out of high school, and they're like, all right. They got a clipboard. The guy's been there six months longer than me at this dumb movie theater job. He's like, all right, you're new. So you want you to fill up these straw machines, fill up these napkin machines, then get a five gallon bucket of water, meet me up here. I was like, all right, fine. I thought I was gonna be mopping floors or something. I get up there, he goes, you're new. It's your turn to fill up the drinking fountains. <laughs> and I don't know why I fell for it. Okay, look, <laughs> leave me alone. I was homeschooled and... All I know is that's not a good first day at your job, if you're wondering. When your manager comes around the corner and sees you slowly pouring five gallons of water down the drain of an automatic drinking fountain. I'll tell you what he's not thinking right then. That guy's going to run this place one day. I'll tell you that right now. He's good. He's not thinking that. Then I got a job at the Home Depot. Home Depot's a weird place. You get your little orange apron. They make you write your own name on it in Sharpie. <laughs> That's when you know it's not a good job, when you're just like, we ain't even gonna waste a name tag on you. We just wanna be able to ball this up and throw it in the fire, you know, when you're done. So you do, you get that, and then that's like a bullseye. That, that apron's like a bullseye. People come at you with their questions, because it says on the apron, Home Depot, you can do it, we can help. People be coming at me with their questions, I'll be like, look, I have no idea if you can do it. <laughs> but I'm almost positive I can't help. Please find somebody else. I'm going to flood your house. <laughs> but you do this. You walk into Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's. You, you're holding every day. You guys do this. Stop doing this. Holding whatever part you're looking for. You got it in your hand, a bolt, a wire, a piece of plumbing. Stop this. Every day somebody come in. Hey, uh, where would a man find one of these? I'll be like, you got one right there. 